Welcome, Cassie Westworld, to the Los Angeles Times Comic Con studio. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very you. much. Uh, Aaron, I wanted to start with you because you're the new kid on the block. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we love the In new the recruits. In the three trailer that we've seen so far, you're almost the only kid on the block. Um, I'm wondering what you've learned about Westworld that has surprised you, and then I want all the rest of you to tell me what advice you gave him about Westworld. Oh, man, what have I learned? Um, well, I, I, I jumped into uh, such a beautiful family. I mean, everyone is so close, and that is just not the case on a lot of jobs, unfortunately, but th these people are just such incredible people um, on screen and off, and... Um, yeah, just really kind of welcomed me with such open arms and um yeah and i learned a lot about season three um tell us <laughs> please go yes, on what can you reveal <laughs> yeah what do you know <laughs> yeah, what do you <laughs> i can't tell you um but uh yeah i mean i don't know what else to say but i love you guys we love you too great having man you fit right in oh, i gave the best. we we only met like not that long ago didn't we yeah. Recent. Yeah. So nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> I gave I gave Aaron a gift recently. Oh my God. For his kid, which was a toy, which is really cute. I love it. It's her it. favorite toy. It's her favorite toy. Yeah. And he thinks it's because I'm really nice, but it's actually like, give your kids, give your kid this toy because she's not going to be seeing much of you for the next <laughs> little bit. It's true. Because <laughs> it's intense. It is a, it is a grueling uh, schedule, schedule that intense. we're all very much a part of. Um, but yeah. I guess she's super cute and I want her to like me. <laughs> I do kind of live for the videos on set yeah. every yeah. day of your adorable daughter. The daily story videos. <laughs> so amazing. Um, I, think, I think the advice we all give you was surrender. Just <laughs> let go. Let go. Because yeah. if you don't, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Surrender to the experience. We've all got your back. No We've all resistance. got each other's backs. Yeah, you just kind of no have resistance. to... No resistance. It's like letting go of the edge of a building and free falling backwards working on Westworld, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And usually we always land on our feet. Doesn't matter anyway, because you can always replace the feet. <laughs> you know, <for> <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, speaking of surrendering, I was going to ask about, there are, I went back and had to rewatch some parts of season two to make sure that I was clear on what was happening. And I will admit that I'm not a hundred percent sure on all things. Are there ever moments where you feel lost when you read a script or you're shooting a scene and what's your approach to dealing with that do you ask for clarification do you embrace being lost do you surrender to it you know how do you think about that no never feel lost at all um <clears throat> because um we have very clear uh vision behind what we're doing and so i just uh, make it a point of asking all the necessary questions that i need uh to be answered in order to do a given scene um, I think it's a complex show. Um, I think it requires focus. It requires um, thought. Um, I think that's a valuable thing now, particularly in our society, um, in an age of consistent dumbing down. So I don't think um, I don't think you need be lost. You know, if you kind of follow the neon breadcrumbs, you know? It's and I all think that. you're still supposed yeah. to be a little lost at the end of mm. season two, because we, we, we continue to answer questions throughout season three, and... Yeah, it's all there. I mean, there, yeah. I remember when I watched season two, realizing that there were, that there was stuff in season one that was being called back, which I hadn't realized from season one, and I think that that's one of the great things about a long-form show, and having Lisa and Jonah at the helm, and they really have figured out what they want to do with these characters, uh, you know, for years. So I think part of feeling confused or that there are unanswered questions is because they haven't been answered yet. And, you know, one of the great mm -hmm. things is at the end of this whole, you know, goodness journey, you know, we will, we will have a very strong sense of, of everything yeah, that's been going on. I think too often on. we don't accept ambiguity um, enough we want this finite answer we want everything to be answered but that's kind of generally not the way things work and story doesn't necessarily have to work that way either but i think we've gotten into um a need for that immediate gratification of of of, uh, of knowing and being told in fact being kind of dictated to in a way that eh, 
is not necessarily you know the be all and end all of uh, I have been lost. I'll oh. say it. I have been very lost sometimes working on the show. But I think but I think during it scenes. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <coughs> totally. Sometimes we don't know everything. Totally, because we literally don't know. Sometimes everything. you're not actually told, and and I think that there's something kind of interesting in that, and I think it speaks to your point, Evan, about surrendering. You know, um, but there there definitely have been moments where I w- was unclear and and purposely so, and then I'll I ask questions. Actually, it's been quite fun with Lisa and Jonah, particularly with Jonah, because he likes to give hints as opposed sometimes to giving answers. So it does feel like half of at least my job, and I'm sure the experience is different. Another thing that I love about the show is we all have different information. So sometimes when you're talking, you know something that someone doesn't. It's like playing a game of Clue. No, um, but it, it makes, I think, for an experience of having to be very inquisitive and also trust that there's yeah. sort of a master plan and sometimes you're not in charge of it. And particularly this season that wants to explore destiny, I think there's something interesting about surrendering to what your character's destiny is going to be, even if you don't know what it is. Um, but I've certainly had moments. I had to go back like you and watch this the last season just to f- make sure that I had it all together <laughs> and to yeah. remember what was done because some things, yeah, some things did um, escape me at the time. But I think what I love about it is I'm you, you're constantly sort of finding new mm. territory. There are so many things, so many ideas to explore about the nature of being human on the show. But I find being human really confusing. So <laughs> right. We had a really cute dinner like early on in this season, Tessa and I, and we've known each other for a really long time. And I was really hoping that I would get something out of her because <laughs> we have different stuff to do. You know, yeah. we've both been. You no, know, we're all primed in different ways by Lisa and Jonah before we start the show. Mm-hmm. And we just had this dinner where I didn't know if she was not telling me or if she genuinely didn't know. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That there is that sometimes between yeah. you. Like, well, I mean, you know what happens, yeah. right? And, and I also and know like, that she well, can't I know. say. Well, I know. <laughs> what do you know? Like, because I don't want to say I mean, anything that you're not supposed yeah. to know. <laughs> and then like, we literally <laughs> said to each other, I'll tell you something if you tell me something. Yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that's totally true. That's totally what we did. You start bartering. Like, I'm, I every, think every day I come up to Aaron on set. It's every day go, on like, set for us. Okay, but seriously, what's what's your story? What's going on? Because I'm just convinced he knows something that I don't know, and I'm determined to get it out of him. I try to do it in wardrobe fittings, too. Oh, yeah. That's, that's oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like every now and then know. somebody they like kind of slip, to know they think you know, yeah. and yeah. you just keep pretending I, like you know yeah, so that I they keep talking. Know, so <laughs> they, yeah, I love that's doing that. So I love doing oh, so that. So these, so these shoes are for the time after I go to, <laughs> oh, right, and then they feed. Yeah. And then you're I like, meet up with, what yes, you meet up with. that? I can't remember. That's right, thank you. Oh, that blazer is in which timeline? Oh, right, right, right. We need to create like our own secret like Language. email thing. You or, guys need a Google site. spreadsheet is yeah, what you we mean. Do. Yeah. Yeah. We do. Yeah. We can just slide in stuff. Or we can just like work. Ooh, Slack. Mm. I did have a, a spreadsheet for season two. That's why you're not well, confused. <laughs> well, you know, well, you do what you got to do. Well, now well, I have some tips for how to watch season three. Um, yeah. Thank you all, the cast of Westworld, for coming Yay. into the Thank you. Thanks for having us. Enjoy the rest of your con. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.